Hi all, I'm Simon from Computer Tutoring. This tutorial video is a PowerPoint Zoom tutorial and we're going to look at how to use Zoom to give a PowerPoint uh, presentation. Now this is an update to the tutorial I gave back at the end of March, beginning of April. It's right at the beginning of the lockdown and I will admit, hands up, that it probably wasn't as clear as it could have been. So this one is the update. And in particular, we're going to have a look at what to do if you have one screen. So if you're working at home and you're on your laptop and you only have the one screen, how would you give a professional PowerPoint presentation through Zoom? And also what you can do if you have two screens. Let's get started. So, how do you use Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation? Well, I said before, it depends on whether you have one or two screens. So the next, this bit here, we're going to go through uh, one screen. Now, as you can see, we've got all of our willing participants available. Uh, some of the times I might say on one hand, the best students ever. But I, if I got any interaction from these students, if one of these spoke, then I might have something to worry about. So let me just get my PowerPoint window up here. That's great. So this is the presentation that I'm going to be given. I'm also recording one of the other screens. I think it's Lenny. That's the other screen that I'm recording so that you can see what the participants see as well. So let's get started with this. So firstly, if you, you see most people, when they're just recording their PowerPoint presentation, they will just show or share their screen. So let me show how I do that. I'm just going to go down here to Zoom and I'm just going to make sure I'm on my Zoom meeting here. I can restore this window, just make it just in the middle here so I can see my PowerPoint window behind. Sometimes that makes it a little easier. Great, so now I want to share the screen. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and I've got the share screen button. So here I've got the share screen button that's just here that I can click on. So that's good. So click on share screen. So now I have an array of options that are available. And basically this is showing all of the applications that are currently open on my computer. So I can see there I've got screen one just here. OK, so you would have screen one and I've also got the PowerPoint. Now, I would be very careful if I was going to share screen one. Sometimes it's helpful, but you need to remember if you share your screen, you share absolutely everything on your computer. So if you've got email in the background, sometimes I use WhatsApp on my computer, or if you've got any personal information you don't want your participants in Zoom to see, then I wouldn't share that screen. If you're going to use Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation, use the PowerPoint app. So you would click on the PowerPoint app here. You would click on share. OK, and then basically whatever you would sort of give the presentation just by clicking on these slides here. And you can just see on the other screen what people are seeing, pretty much what you've got on your screen. Yeah, it's not really the best way of doing it. Now, I've seen a couple of other tutorials as well where they've hidden the ribbon. So uh, if I just uh, let me just move him out of the way. So, for instance, if I click on this little collapse the ribbon button just here and I can drag these over here like so and it makes the presentation look a little better. But yeah, it's not perfect by any stretch, you know, uh, I need to get the thumbnails back to change. It's, yeah, it's not great. So there we go. So there's the first way of sharing the screen. Uh, let me just get the ribbon uh, back here, shall we? So just going to double click or I can click on this pin button just on the right hand side. You can see here to pin the ribbon. Notice there's a shortcut there as well. So let me just do that. Oops, click on that and pin the ribbon up. There we go. So I think you will agree. Let me just drag this up to the top. I think you agree it's not the greatest way of sharing. Let's stop sharing the screen now. So if I'm going to click to stop sharing, I'm going to click on this stop share button just here. So I click on the stop share. And as you can see from the other screen, if we go back to the other screen, that's great. You can see that our participants are now just seeing pretty much what we're seeing here. So the next way of giving a presentation in Zoom is starting the presentation first. OK, and then you can then just share the presentation screen. So let me show you what I mean by this. So what I'm going to do is go to PowerPoint over here and I'm going to start the presentation by clicking on this button here. It says start from beginning. If I just use a little pink arrow and point directly to what you need to press to start. There we go. So that's our presentation started from the beginning. 
So now what I need to do is I need to swap back to the taskbar. So if I go down to the bottom, you can see there's these three buttons just down the bottom here. Let me just really point them out. You see those here? So the ellipsis, I suppose you could call that. So if I just click on that and I go up to screen, okay, and then across and down to show taskbar, so I can see the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now I can go to my zoom window and click on my zoom window here. Now the important thing about this is when we share the screen, they shouldn't see the zoom window. Okay, let's give that one a go, shall we? So if I click on share screen now, okay, and then if I choose the PowerPoint slideshow, so you can see what I'm selecting here. I'm not selecting screen one. I'm choosing the PowerPoint slideshow here. And then I click on share. That's great. So now, now you can see what they're seeing in the other screen. It's literally almost a mirror of this screen here. And you can go through your presentation as you will, uh, just by clicking on the mouse. And as you go through the presentation here, you can see on the other screen, they're seeing pretty much exactly what you're seeing. That's great. And it looks professional. Just so you know, you can also use the cursor keys or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Uh, so you can use this to go left or if you want to go right, which is good. The only thing to watch out for is when you get to the end of your presentation. So let's just, for example, say I go right, okay, and then I go right again. I'm on my blank um screen here when i press like right again the presentation then is quit it's because i'm outside of that powerpoint window you know the the actual the full screen uh presentation window there so um now i got this message here you can see it appears screen sharing has stopped as the shared window is closed i mean that puts it much better than i did doesn't it so i just click on ok and then you can see from the other screen our participants just see again pretty much what we're seeing here Great, excellent. So that's another way of um, doing that. Now, there are a few issues and problems with that because sometimes in PowerPoint presentations, it's not always linear. You know what I mean? So it's not always going from slide one, then slide two, and then slide three. It's, it's sometimes a person would say, oh, could you go back, back a slide or you could go forward a slide. So what's one good way you can do that within PowerPoint and look as professional as possible? Um, let us share the screen again, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to click on the button here to start the presentation. I go down to these three dots just here at the bottom. Click on those three dots. I'm going to go up to screen and then show taskbar. And then I'm going to swap back to my Zoom window here, ready to share. And then I'm going to click on share screen just here. And I'm going to click on PowerPoint slideshow and then share. Okay, so I hope you got that and now you're adept at sharing using Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation. But say, for instance, somebody wants to go back and forward between slides. If I go down to the bottom corner just here again, I can see, if I just click once rather, I can see these little buttons here at the bottom. Let me just highlight that so you can absolutely be clear as what I'm talking about. You see those buttons there at the bottom. So if I now go over to here and I go to this middle one here, okay, so that's just this one just here it allows me to see my other slides so let's click on that here and now i can see the other slides so let's just take a get a quick look at the other screen and you can see the other screen could also see the slides as well but it's no i mean sometimes it's good for this interaction people say well i want to see slide three so i can go and i can click on slide three and now they're seeing slide three and if i want to then change to another slide i can go down to here and click and go to another slide. Let's go to the last slide. And now they're seeing the last slide. So that's good. So using these buttons here at the bottom left hand corner can be invaluable when just adding that professional touch to your PowerPoint presentation when you're using or presenting it in Zoom. While we're there with those buttons, I'd just like to highlight another feature that I'd, I like to use when I'm delivering a PowerPoint presentation using Zoom uh, is this little magnifying glass. Can you see that one just there? So the magnifying glass just here. So what you can do with this one is give that one a click and then you can move around the page here and say, for instance, I want to really focus in on the fingering just here. I can click once and it will zoom in, enlarge that part of the slide. When you check on the other slide, you can see 
it just looks so professional and I can actually then pan by dragging the mouse around the screen like so you can see here so I can go to different parts of the slide and then if I want to zoom out again I'm just going to take the mouse and press the right mouse button and it zooms out again so you can see it's absolutely fantastic there great brilliant so there are more options there one of them is a new option if you have office 365 well relatively new the last couple of years or so which is creating subtitles that is going to be the subject of a future tutorial because it's absolutely fantastic the subtitles not only that not only will you allow sub subtitles it will also translate for you so keep an eye out for that tutorial to come okay so how do you complete or finish a, fr a presentation last time we just went to the end so say you're in the middle and you want to finish well what you can do is you can either go down to the bottom here click and go to end show or traditionally what you can do is press the escape key ESC top left hand corner of your keyboard and you're back here and because we've stopped sharing the PowerPoint screen the main presentation screen it also has stopped uh, that window there so there we go there's a nice little tip that we can use when we're giving a PowerPoint presentation in Zoom. Now there is a couple of other things as well. Let's just go through that. Uh, one of the other tips as well, I don't know if you know in Zoom, you can right click on the window here. Oops, let me just try that again. And then notice this option here that says keep on top. So remember when we're sharing our Zoom window, our participants will not see those Zoom windows. Okay, so they shouldn't see that when we're sharing just the PowerPoint screen that is. Uh, or the PowerPoint application. So let's just give that one a go. So if I just um, go back to, let's oops, sorry, right click and go to keep on top. And if I right click, you can see that's ticked now. So now what I can do is if I start my PowerPoint presentation like so, you notice that the zoom window is still on top. Okay. So you can see it's still on top. So let's share the screen. So if I click on share screen and I choose my PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. And then I click on share now it's ready to share if i look at the other window and i'll show you what it is is they get exactly what they need to here they can just go through that presentation like so so here's another little tip of what you can do to use zoom to give a powerpoint presentation sometimes keeping the window on top allows you to access the share uh, options great now while we're here here's another nice little trick if you want to look that little extra bit slick in your powerpoint presentation Notice that there's a button at the top here that says pause share. Now, when you click on pause share, your participants will see whatever was on the screen when you clicked on that pause button. So let's just give an example of this here. Say for instance, and I'm going to use this, uh, I'm, go I'm going through the presentation. So we're talking about music design and then we're going to talk about favorite instruments. And then we're going to talk about uh, electrical, acoustic, contemporary, and we're in soundscapes. Now, say as we're in soundscapes, people come back and they say, what were the three types of instruments again? I can't remember. If, could we go back to that slide? So instead of like rummaging around and going, uh, 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 oh, it's the set, this one, what you can do is click on the pause share button. And you notice at the top, it says here, your screen sharing is paused. Great. So once that's paused, that's fantastic. What we can then do is at your leisure, we can go down to the bottom that we just click here and go to this slide short sorter and then go to favorite instruments. Now I think that looks like the right slide, but if you check at the participant screen, let's see the participant screen. Uh, I think one of the participants screen, and it's Len Lenny's screen I'm recording, that he's still looking at the soundscapes slide. So that's great. What I can do now is click on resume share and then you can see here that now everyone's looking at the favorite instrument. So we can talk about guitar, piano and drum. So absolutely great. Uh, it allows you to give you that a bit of control. So remember, you can use that pause sharing. Just be careful if you are pausing to share and you come out of the presentation, it will stop the sharing. You know, so sometimes people just generally they would say pause sharing here. And if you click. Um, or if you press escape and you cut that you see the sharing stopped so it's always good to stay within that presentation use that slide sort of view uh, just in the bottom left hand corner so you can move throughout your slides there now say you've got uh, one screen though and you're sharing the screen but you also want to see your notes at the same time especially if your notes uh, or on the same computer. Now you could write out your notes, print them out, write them out in hand, or if you happen to have an iPad or a phone or something handy, you could use that. But say you've got the notes on the same screen. 
So what you can do is you could set up the slideshow. Let me just go back to PowerPoint here. Okay, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and just turn that keep on top off for the time being so I can access my PowerPoint. Uh, I'm then going to go up to uh, slideshow just at the top, just here. So click on slideshow and then I'm going to click on this button here, set up show. So if I click on set up show, now at the moment it's presented by a speaker full screen but I'm going to click on the button there that says browsed by an individual window so just make sure browsed by an individual window is selected so what does that mean well I can click on OK like so uh, then I can um, start my slideshow so if I click on start my slideshow like slow and you see here that now PowerPoint is like a window in itself you know I can make it bigger I can make it smaller you can see in the bottom right hand corner as I'm dragging this sometimes it's a bit fiddly let me just click on it here there we go there we go that's it and we can drag that so you can see in that bottom right hand corner I can drag this sort of out you know or in if I wanted to um, yeah oops yeah I can drag it out or in rather a mess there but that's fine okay so so now what I do, I now have PowerPoint available, um, sorry, Zoom available on the screen at the same time. So what I can do is I can click on share screen and I can choose my PowerPoint window here. Just be careful to select your PowerPoint window just here. Okay, so when you click on the PowerPoint window just here, that's great. I can click on share. Okay, and then you can see what's happening on somebody else's screen. If I have a quick look at Lenny's screen, let's bring Lenny's screen in, okay? That is over here, you could have Word or OneNote or something like that. That's good, so I can just drag that and I can keep my notes here or whatever. I can't see my notes within the PowerPoint slide, but I can do stuff like if I click on this little drop down arrow just here, notice, I go down here and I can sort of go to a particular slide if I wanted to go to the soundscape slide straight away. I can go straight to the soundscape slide. All right, so the interesting thing when you're doing this is what's happening on the other screen. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's really make this extreme. If I go down to the bottom right hand corner and drag it up so it's really, really small. If you have a look now, if we bring in the, um, uh, the participant screen, what they're seeing, you can see that the quality of it is just no good whatsoever. Just be careful when you're adjusting this. If I make it big, the quality on the other screen, on participant screens will be much better. Obviously, if I make it smaller, then um, it won't be. So just be careful of that. But this does allow, you know, I can't be having it this size, but this does allow me to have the option of having maybe other notes, etc. I probably, you know, this sort of size and that should do the trick, really. That should be fine. I've got plenty of enough time to make notes, etc. When people ask questions and I need to Google them, then yeah, that's great. Of course, when I'm finished, I can click on stop share. And there we go. Excellent. Just one little quick thing. Uh, if we're back into this, um, like this windowed view here, just be careful not to click on this here. Do not click on that, on that um, cross to close down the, uh, the window, it'll actually close down the whole of PowerPoint basically. Uh, so the best thing out of this one here is you can actually click on this window just one here and you can go to end show just at the bottom or you can just press escape on the keyboard. Let me maximize the window here at the top, just click on the maximize button and pressing the escape on the keyboard will allow you to get out of that. Okay, so um, did you know that you can use PowerPoint as your virtual background? Now there is one downside to this. I'll just show you on the screen here. You see here, I've just added a few animations to this. So if I just show it, I'm using this button. It's a nice little button. If I click on the um, uh, two, number two here, I can hold down Shift and F5 if I want to, and it will start the presentation from that point in time. Let me press Escape to come out of it. Or I can just click on this button just here at the bottom. Okay, that starts the presentation from the currently selected slide. So Shift F5. So F5 will do it from the beginning. Shift F5 will be from the currently selected slide, or you can click on this little button here at the bottom. And here we go. Favorite in instruments. Uh, but as you can see with each one of these, I'm just going forward, it's doing a little animation, yeah? Let's just save this file. That's good. And then you don't actually need to have PowerPoint open for this next little bit. We're gonna click on share screen just at the bottom just here. So just click on share screen. Then we're gonna click on this advanced tab just here at the top. So click on the advanced tab. And then we're going to choose PowerPoint as a virtual or PowerPoint as virtual background. So if we give that a click, click on share. 
Uh, here's our desktop and this is our file, the music design file. So I'm going to click on the music design file, click on open. Okay, I'm going to wait. And now, after a little while, you can see there's our PowerPoint file and there I am here at the bottom. Let me just make myself a little larger. There we go, so I'm full screen there. Excellent. And then if you just look, just bring Lenny, what our participant sees, okay, um, and they can see me here. And if I just drag, I can make myself bigger like so. Yeah, so as I'm making myself bigger like so, in fact, I, I you can, the participants then can see um, to see me, okay, as I'm making myself bigger, I can make myself smaller like so. Okay, which is great. I can move myself around by clicking and dragging around like that. So I can drag around like that. I can make myself that much bigger. That's great. And then when I want to then progress through the presentation, I can use these buttons down here. So there's left and there's right arrows just down there. I can use those to move through the presentation. So let's make myself a little bit smaller just in here. That's great. Okay, and then I can click on this button to the right and I go through the next presentation. But notice, even if I move myself out of the way, let me just drag myself, there are no animations. There's no animation happening on the guitar, the piano, and the drum, okay? So animations won't work, but I think that's a small price to pay for this wonderful feature within Zoom there. So if I go to the next one, I can go to the next here, that's great. If I want to remove myself, then I can just click on here and I can say split video from PowerPoint. So it just removes myself. If, if you feel that I'm getting in the way on the PowerPoint tutorial, yeah, you can do that. If I want to, I can click on the ellipsis down the bottom again and click merge video and PowerPoint. Now I will say that this is all subject to the specifications of your machine. So if you are using a laptop or a PC that's a few years old and it doesn't support virtual backgrounds, then you're gonna be out of luck with this one. So you need to upgrade, go to the Zoom website as well, I'll give you a link below so that you can check your specifications as to whether you can do the virtual backgrounds. Uh, when you wanna finish your presentation, uh, all you need to do is stop share. So you can see there's a stop sharing button here at the top. So you click on stop share just here at the top and there we go, we're back in the room with our friends. There is just one little thing, just going back to how to use PowerPoint as a virtual background, is it's very linear. You can't swap between the slides. You know, I could go from slide one to slide two to slide three to slide four. I can do that. But say if somebody quickly wanted to go back to slide two, I couldn't do that. I'd have to go to this button here and click one and then go back to slide two. I've only got five slides here, but you can imagine if you've got 30 slides, 40, 100, please don't invite me on your course if you've got a 100 slide PowerPoint presentation. But if you do, using a virtual background might not be the best solution for you. Great, so let me click on stop sharing again. Great, we're back in the room there. Great, so that's everything that we can accomplish when we're using a single screen. So don't leave just yet. I'm gonna have a look at what you can do if you have two screens. What benefits do you gain from having two screens to use Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation? Okay, so you need to click on the little drop down arrow just to the right of stop video just here. And then you're gonna go and click on video settings just here. So now then you need to click on general at the top just here and then check the checkbox. So there we go, there's general just there. And then check the checkbox that says use dual monitors. So check the checkbox that says use dual monitors. So let me just tick that there. That's great. Uh, so now that will allow us to use both monitors. So now what we can do is I can close down this window by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And now basically what I need to do is log out of Zoom and log back in. Okay, so I've gone and switched on the checkbox for the dual monitors. I've come out of Zoom and I've rejoined the meeting again. Um, so what do I get? Well, you may have noticed, um, if I just go back to Zoom, where's my other window gone? There you go. So I actually get two windows now in Zoom. Yeah, so one at the moment, because I'm not sharing anything, I'm just seeing one of the um, participants and then I've got the other window just here. So that's the benefit you get of switching on the dual screens in Zoom. What do you get with PowerPoint? Well, if I go to PowerPoint over here and I go to slideshow just at the top, just here, I'm going to click on set up slideshow. So if we do that, make sure we're on presented by a speaker, uh, full screen. 
Now down here at the bottom, yeah, it was automatic. Let me just change you to what it should be or was with yours. So it was automatic if you're one screen or it would be grayed out uh, as automatic. But now I can choose which monitor I want to display my PowerPoint presentation on. Now I know I'm sharing it on Zoom and it seems quite really weird, but for it to work properly, I really need to share it on another screen. So I'm gonna choose monitor one here, current resolution, and then I'm gonna check this checkbox just here. It says use presenter view. So when it's checked, I get the presenter view option, which gives me the ability to control or greater ability of control over my PowerPoint presentation. So let's click on okay for that. So now we'll start our presentation here. So I'm just gonna click on the presentation, start presentation button at the here. And now I'm looking at the presenter view. So when I, uh, my other screen, I can't show you because I'm looking at this screen here, has just the normal presentation. But basically, whatever we see here on this screen is what our participants will see when we come to share our screen. So let's do that, shall we? Uh, there's no need to sort of muck around with the bottom. I can go down to here and then I can click and go to um, either screen and show taskbar or there's a nice show taskbar button just at the top. I don't know if you can see it just here. Nice show taskbar. So I'm just going to click on show taskbar so I can go back to zoom and bring my main zoom window in. Okay. Remember, if you've prepared beforehand, I forgot to do this, you can right click on the title bar and go keep on top if you want to, if you want to keep that zoom window on top. Great. So let's start sharing our PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to click on share screen. Um, make sure I choose the PowerPoint slideshow. I don't want to be sharing everything on my screen. I click on share. That's great. So instantly you can see, and hopefully I'm sharing the other screen as well. Yep, that's good. So you can instantly see one of the benefits. Firstly, I've got, um, here we go, I've got my PowerPoint presentation just here. Now this is in a window mode, so I can click on the restore button. I'll just point to it so I'm clear as to what it is. It's just the very top left, uh, top right hand corner. So if I give that a click, I can then just go down to the bottom right hand corner just here and just resize the window by just dragging it. Maybe you see my green mouse just here. Let me have a look here. There we go. And I can drag that in a little bit. There we go. Great. So I can see my slideshow here, which is, um, which is found, you know, excellent. I can also at the same time see my meeting participants. So I, as I'm going through my slideshow, I can see whether they're reacting well to the presentation or have all fallen asleep. It uh, looks like they've all got rapt attention. Nobody's actually moved since the beginning of the tutorial. So yeah, must be doing something, right? Great, so now I can use these buttons just here. I'll just take you through some of these. So these buttons I can use to move between slides in a linear fashion. That's great. And I can see I've got the animations coming through as well, which is great. If I need to go to a particular slide, so somebody says I need to just go to the end slide I just want to see, I can click on see all slides here and then just choose the end slide there and it takes me straight to the end slide. And you can see if we bring in one of the participants' uh, screens, you can see that's what they're seeing, exactly the same. Great. Um, I've other got the options as well for zooming in. So I can click on and just go in if I want to really zoom in on this finger work. I can click and zoom in on that part there. That's great. And then I can click on this zoom button here just to zoom out. Brilliant. So one extra thing about this um, presenter view that we can see here is that you can see your notes. Can you see here? These are notes that I've made earlier on in PowerPoint. Um, if you wanted to see where I sort of made them, if I just sort of drag that down here, you can see here where it says tap to add notes. That's where I type in my notes in here. So if I went to the first slide, you can see, remember that to be relaxed, etc. So if I bring up my presenter view again, and that's what I see here, remember to be relaxed. So there we have it. That's how you would use Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation. Really, really good. So if you have one screen, you can do so much, but if you have two screens, it's a little better. And I always try to make sure that I have two screens when I'm giving the PowerPoint presentation. It's more relaxed, I've got more space, it's just better on so many accounts. If you haven't already done so, click on that subscribe button and click on the notifications button so you don't miss any future tutorials. If you've got anything out of this um, PowerPoint Zoom tutorial training video, then give us a thumbs up, really appreciate it. Really like to hear as well any comments that you would like to give on suggestions uh, and things that you do when you're using Zoom to give a PowerPoint presentation. If you're on Instagram, if you're on Twitter, then please look us up, give us a, give us a shout, love to hear from you. So just want to say 
Thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone's keeping safe. Take care, guys.